Okay. I trust everybody's having a good holiday. Um, I'm going to call this episode Dynamics Are Your Friend. And uh, you're going to reach a point in this, in this episode of Into the Lair where you're going to go, well, Dave, you did EQ. How can that be dynamics? Well, we're going we're gonna to play with the dynamics on the EQ too. Uh, what I want to do today is show you that there's nothing sacred in, in mixing. Uh, the stereo bus is looked at with some kind of mystery and awe. <clears throat> I know because I used to do that. Still do sometimes. But when we have programmed drums, and even, even drummers are so good nowadays, um, the dynamics of, of the drums tend to not change a lot. And then with uh, compression or whatever, uh, dynamics are, are, are getting lost a little bit. So what I wanted to show you was how I, uh, uh, how I overcome this. So uh, what I want to show you is how uh, is different ways I do that. Uh, but as always, there's a bigger picture here. I want you to think of different ways to use some of these techniques. Now, philosophically, one of the reasons that we like programmed drums is because they can become hypnotic. But there's a very fine line between hypnotic and monotonous. So um, this is my friend's Monster Block. Incredible track. I'm just going to play the track. Now I'm going to go from the verse to the chorus. I want you to see what happens. I'm going to play you a couple of bars of the verse, a couple of bars of the chorus. Okay, that was one bar. Okay, so what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to play you two bars of the verse going into the hook. Watch the, listen to it. The drum stayed the same. Everything stayed the same. So let's do this. Let's just take our, our master fader and turn it up a dB. Okay, that was a hair model. Now, now watch what happens. Okay, now coming out, going back into the verse. You have to struggle to hear it, but you definitely feel it, right? You feel it, right, Will? It's like it just gives you that little lift that, that, that you need to go into the chorus and then drop the dynamics or the energy back down. Another thing we can do, let's, let's take that off for a second. Another thing we can do is manipulate individual tracks. Okay, guys, so what I've done is I've, I've taken uh, my... my, my uh, Big DSP plugin, and if you'll notice, I've, I've got it automated. This is my automation right here. Uh, I'm bringing in 9 dB of 4K. Um, way too much, but I just want you to hear it. So check this out. Here's our kick, normally. It gets a little brighter, right? Okay, now let's put that in the track and see what we've got. Okay, we get a little bit of a lift. Uh, now, it's too much, but think about doing that, something similar to the snare, something similar to other parts. I'm going to show you, uh, there's a real important kind of open hi-hat, and um, I'm going to show you what, what we can do with that. Here's the hi-hat, normal. Okay, when it gets to right here, Notice that um, that this plugin comes on, and we're adding 1.7 at 10k. I'll exaggerate it. Okay, now let's put that in the track. Let's go in from our verse to our chorus. Cool. 
Now, another thing we can do is we can come up here to our auxes. You can put all your music through an aux. And uh, here's, here's all of my music right here, this, this music aux right here, third red one. Now, here's my, here's my verse, it's 16 bars. So let's do this, let's, let's drop the level down. Let's see, we're starting at two, let's drop the level down about that much. And then right here, let's give ourselves a little boost at, at the midpoint in the verse. So let's watch this. Okay, now, now if we had if we had combined that with our with our global move here, watch this coming out of the verse. Okay, not earth shattering, but uh, it might sell four or five more records, but. That's okay. It's it's uh, what I'm trying to show you is don't be afraid to to to, to use your creativity to use um, your taste and and to try and dig back and remember the things that that help get those juices flowing when you heard a really cool song and and on on a lot of the songs that were performed uh, live uh, by by players instead of programming. Uh, what you're trying to do is recreate some of those dynamics within the framework of what we've got to work with now. Everything that I've shown you is probably a little bit more over the top than it needs to be, but I, I wanted you to be able to hear the, the difference. So you probably want to do it a little more subtle, but maybe not. You know, in a dance, a dance track or, or a hip hop track, something like that, you can, you can be a little more um, uh, over the top with these techniques. And as usual, if you think something better than me, fire it over here. I want to hear it. All right, guys. Have a nice holiday.